Elastic Email offers the ability to completely brand your emails with your own domain, and we highly encourage it. You will be able to send email from your domain, white label tracking links, and set policies for recipient servers to follow. To use your domain with Elastic Email, we need you to enter some records into your domain's DNS settings. For this tutorial, I am using GoDaddy DNS settings. While each DNS service can be unique in how it enters and handles records, the general concept will be the same. SPF. A domain can have only one SPF record. If your domain has an existing SPF record in it, then you only need to add include colon underscore SPF dot com. If there is no existing SPF record, then you will need to add the full record. The host or name field for this record will be different depending on the DNS service. For GoDaddy, they use an at symbol. Others will just use your root domain or be left blank. DKIM. A domain can have multiple DKIM records. So for this one, you will create a new TXT record. In the host name field, you will enter API dot underscore domain key. In the value field, you will need to copy and paste in this very long key exactly as it shows on our website. The key cannot be altered in any way. Tracking. To replace all the tracking links with your domain, you will need to create a new CNAME record. The host or name field value can actually be anything you want, but the Elastic Email System will automatically look for email or tracking. The value of the record must point to api.elasticemail.com. DMARC. In an effort to help prevent spoofing and increase security with email, the DMARC record was created. This record sets a policy for recipient servers to follow if an email fails SPF or DKIM. Just having a DMARC record is a good thing, even if the policy is set to none. But you can use our DMARC generator to help you create the policy record. In the host or name field, you will put underscore DMARC. In the value field, you will put the policy that you have created. MX. An MX record is for inbound email. This will only verify in your account if you have set up inbound email service for your domain. This is not a required step, and many senders will not have an MX record. If you wish to use Elastic Email for processing inbound emails, please see our documentation on inbound email notifications. Once the records are added to your DNS, you can go back into your account settings and add the domain to your account. Properly added records will verify with a green check mark. Any domain added to the main account can be used by the subaccounts. Any domain added directly to a subaccount can only be used by that subaccount. Setting a domain to default will cause that domain to be used if any other non-verified domain is attempted to be used. 